GED math test example two. A long distance runner does a first lap around a track in exactly 50 seconds. As she tires, each subsequent lap takes 20% longer than the previous one. How long does she take to run three laps? A great test taking strategy is to use process of elimination. Look at your options and see which ones don't make sense. In this case, there are two. We can eliminate the 150 second option because if we divide that by the three laps, that implies that each lap was ran in 50 seconds, which is not true. Keep in mind that she got tired each lap, so each lap should be longer than the previous, which means we can eliminate the first option as well. Now you at least have a 33. 3% chance of getting this right if you take an educated guess. But now let's solve. This is the setup that I created and bear with me because this video is going to be longer than a minute. So they already told us that the first lap took 50 seconds. So we want to put 50 seconds. Now the second lap is going to be 20% longer than this. So what we can do is we can write 50 and we're going to add what 20% of 50 is. In a previous video, I showed you that if you want to take 20% of any number, find 10% first, which is moving the decimal once to the left. In this case, 10% of 50 is 5, and then you double it. We get 10. So 20% of 50 is 10. Adding this together, we get that lap 2 lasts 60 seconds. Hopefully, you guys can see that. Now, Lap three is going to be 20% longer than the previous lap. So if this one was 60 seconds long, then it's going to be 60 plus whatever 20% of 60 is. So let's do that again. 20% is 10% of a number. In this case, 10% of 60 is 6. Doubled is 12. So again, 20% of 60 is 12. Adding this together, we get 72. So now that we have all the values for lap one, two, and three, let's add. 50 plus 60 plus 72 equals 182 seconds, which is your fourth option.